All right. So I had this lady here who said, I have bought your green formula, vitamin C and C miss. I am experiencing a recent problem with breakouts on my face. Help. All right. Uh, that is a uh, sign that this person is continuing to eat the food and do the things that caused the problem in the first place that they're trying to get rid of. And they think that just taking something is going to make the problem go away. And I say this over and over and it's not going to happen. If you keep eating bread, pasta, wheat, dairy products, cheese, cookies, crackers, pies, anything baked in an oven or cooked on a stove, processed dead food, refined food, coffee, alcohol, cigarettes, you know all that stuff, but mainly the food that you eat, that the fuel that you're fueling your body with, you cannot keep doing the same things that cause the problem and then simply take something and think it's going to make you better. Now, as far as the breakout situation, that means the liver is dirty and clogged because the skin is the outer layer of the liver. The liver is one of your body's filters, just like your kidneys. And it filters your blood and it does a lot of other things too. It has to also do with hormones. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, your liver is your body's filter, major filter. It's the size of a phone book. It's huge. I shouldn't even say phone book anymore. People don't even know what a phone book is. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a huge filter. And when it's clogged from 50, 60 years of crap, it, it's not going to work right anymore. It's like trying to push something through sludge, through mud. It's, it, it's not going to work right. So when your liver is clogged, the dirty blood has nowhere to go anymore. So your body pushes it out through the skin and you start having skin problems. Well, if the liver can't clean it, then let's just get rid of it by pushing it out through the skin. That's why people have psoriasis and eczema and skin problems and rashes. That's a good sign that your liver is clogged and not working right. You can also download the skin ebook at marcusebooks.com. It gets more into that. But again, it's not just a matter of slathering a cream on there. It's not going to do anything. It's a matter of cleaning out the inside so things are working and flushing and cleaning more better. So when you start having skin issues, that means the inside of you is so clogged up that it has that your your stuff, whatever it is that you're doing, has nowhere to go but out through your skin. And taking my products helps intensify the cleansing process and it puts everything into overdrive. Your body's trying to cleanse itself. But if you keep eating the bread and the pasta and the cereal and the cookies and the crackers and the jam and the marmalade and the honey and, 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 and the dairy and all the crap that you're eating, it's ridiculous. Your body can't function. It's like sometimes I get somebody who emails and says, I, I, I bought your, actually a lady the other day, she emailed and said, I just bought your vitamin C and I took it for three days and I did not experience the wondrous things that I wanted to happen and should have my money back. And I'm going, what, what exactly were you expecting to happen by simply taking something? You have to stop doing the things that caused the problem. This helps clean up the mess. It helps give the body the nutrition it needs to function right, but it's not going to miraculously heal your life. It doesn't work that way. You must clean out the system, clean the filters. God, you clean your house filters and your car filters probably more than your body filter. You probably didn't even know you had body filters. It's just amazing how people think simply taking something is going to make them better. So you got to understand that your, oh, and this is the other thing, the liver is it does so many things. It does a thousand things. Among other things, it helps create hormones. It's, it's a, where a lot of your hormones come from. And when you're getting on in the years, you know, this lady was 68, um, your hormone, you know, like menopause, people, women, and they're, even men. I mean, when you get middle age, your hormones start shifting. And if your liver is clogged from alcohol, from bread, from pasta, from dairy, from all this crap that you're eating, your liver isn't going to function right anymore and you will start having hormone issues a lot more than people who are clean and functioning properly. Um, so if you're having menopause issues, if you're having, you know, uh, your lack of sex drive or you're just getting hormone imbalances and you're thinking of getting hormone replacement therapy because it's that age, you don't need that. I mean, it's, and by the way, I, I, bioidentical hormones are not bioidentical. It's, that's a whole nother issue uh, and a whole nother video. I'll get on that in a minute. But the point is uh, having a clean liver makes your hormones function properly. It helps create adequate hormones, the right kind of hormones. And your body doesn't have to work three times as hard just to 
stay alive, just to function properly, just to, to keep itself kind of in balance. So anyway, there you go. Having a clean liver, and I have a liver ebook at marcusebooks.com, M-A-R-K-U-S, ebooks, it helps tell you all about what makes the liver function, what it needs, what it doesn't need, what's bad for it, what's good for it. And I also, I have a liver formula, marcusliverformula.com, you already know that. That's not what this video is about. I'm not trying to push the product. I'm just saying, if you wanna clean your liver, there are options for how to do that. More importantly than what to take. Again, you can't just take the liver formula and think your liver's gonna be fine if you keep doing things that are clogging it up. That, that's ridiculous. That's like trying to clear out one end of the pipe while stuffing sludge into the other end of the pipe. Come on, I mean, just common sense. So that's a big part of it. If you start having skin problems, if you're feeling run down because your liver creates, it creates and stores glycogen, glucose uh, for energy, that's where your energy comes from is your liver. If you're low energy, run down. If you have hormone problems, you have skin problems, you know, hair, that's, that's hormone based. So everything, your liver is the center of everything. A clean, healthy liver is a clean, healthy life. So start with that. Start by not putting the garbage in your body. Start by cleaning out your system, including your liver, and then only put good stuff back in so everything can function properly. And stop looking for some magic stuff to make you better. The stuff that I sell, they give you the nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins, the building blocks of collagen and things like that, but that can't function right if your stomach and your liver and your kidneys and everything else is not working properly. Those are the workers, but they need the fuel to work right and they need the right conditions in order to do it. You can't build collagen if your stomach acid's too weak because of bread and things that soak up the stomach acid and produce yeast, you know, and they need sugar and fruit juice and all this stuff which feeds the yeast and lowers the probiotics. It's all connected in so many ways. You know, there's no cheat. You can't take something to get better and stop while still continuing to do things that are bad for you. Sorry, there's no shortcuts. Please take this to heart. If you really want to see results in your life, stop doing the things that are bad for you and start doing the things that are good for you. And the best thing you can do is not what you take, it's what you stop doing and doing the cleansing process. Focus on spring cleaning, not just with your house, with you, your body. All right, so that's today's rant. I think you can do it, that's your challenge. I'll see you in the next video. I hope to see you different by the next video. Bye.